Good morning, this is Martin Millette coming to you again from Bucharest, Romania with Morning Mana. And this morning is April the 12th, or this Tuesday, beautiful Tuesday morning. And I want to sing this song, the rest of this song, another verse of this song by Andre Crouch. It goes like this. I wrote these words to this part of it. There's two verses, and this is a third verse. The blood speaks and declares I'm God's righteousness. Born of the Spirit, oh, join air with the Son, that precious blood that gives me strength today. Today will never, never lose his power. Oh, it reaches to the highest, the highest mountain, and it flows to the lowest, the lowest valley. Oh, that precious blood. That gives me strength from day to day. Will never, never lose its power. You know, I've been speaking to you about the five places that the Lord shed his blood while he was on that cross. His head, where the thorns were, how that the thorns are type of the curse. And that he took, it became our curse on that cross. Not only took your curse, he became your curse. So you don't have to live under curses anymore. I don't care what your daddy did, your granddaddy did. Some people say it runs in our bloodline. Listen, you're in a new bloodline now, amen? And that's what I'm talking to you about this morning. The blood of Jesus supersedes all that other bloodlines, okay? Now, I'm telling you this in the name of the Lord. If you'll hear this message today and apply it in your life, it'll change your life. I know it. It's changed mine. And it's changed others that have heard the truth, been set free, and understood about the power of the blood and how to apply it personally in their lives. This is not some kind of theological jargon that I'm trying to give you to show you how smart I am. I want you to see how to apply this blood in your life, become and have the power to be empowered by the blood of Jesus by knowing the truth about it and what it's done, what it's paid for, and what it's bought for you. Not only did it pay for your sins, but every time he paid for something, he gave you something in return. For example, he took the thorns, his blood was shed on his head so that you may have the blessings of God. The opposite of cursing is blessing. On the cross, he became our sins. The Bible said he was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquity. The task title of, of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, you're healed. So he took our sicknesses. He took our weaknesses. He took our sorrows. The Bible calls him the man of sorrow. Why? That you can have joy, that you can have peace, that you can have prosperity and health in your life and in your body. Well, I don't believe that, Brother Martin. Well, Stay sick then, but I'm telling you, in the name of the Lord, everything you need, you have in Christ. When the children of Israel came out of Egypt, now listen to this. They, the night they left, what did, they, what did Moses tell them to do? Take that lamb and do what? Take its blood and apply it, right? Apply it to the doorpost and the lintel. And then he says something else, which we leave out, most of us, uh, the preachers, we always leave this out. You know, we're talking about the blood of Jesus that takes away our sins, but we leave that part out. Now listen, they had to eat the lamb. They went 40 years without getting sick. We have a better covenant in Christ than through his blood, according to Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 24, where he says the blood of Jesus Christ speaks better things than that of Abel. So if you'll learn how to apply this blood, it'll be a blessing to your life. And that's my desire for you, my dear brother and sister in Christ, that you'd learn about the blood of Jesus Christ. It's alive, it's speaking, and it's powerful, and it will never, 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 never lose its power. Will you think about it today? I'd like to pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, take these words and apply them to somebody's heart that they may believe and place their faith and trust in the righteousness that comes from the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.